Hey everybody, it's Jenny. And just a reminder, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment below. I am concentrating on stamping today and I am using not eight, not 10, but 14 photos today. I used my Canon selfie printer to print them. I used the PicFrame app to complete the collage and I am using this Tonic Studios photo printer or trimmer to cut them apart. I'm still getting the hang of this thing. I'm very, very new to a guillotine trimmer, but I am i think I'm liking it. It's nice and sharp. That part's really cool. I have so many photos this week because we did take a road trip, and so that was very fun, and I couldn't narrow it down anymore. Now, I absolutely could have added some flip-ups. I just, they were all so amazing. I really didn't want to do that. I wanted to just create a really full layout and focus on the photos, only add a little bit of decor, a little bit of journaling, and lean really heavily on the photos this week. So my decor is mostly stamping, a little bit of stickering, and a whole lot of fun. So as you can see, as usual, there is a lot of blue in my photos. It does feel like most of my photos are taken outside with good reason. And I am using, the primary color will be red this week. And that is because the primary stamp that I'm using is a waffle flower poppy stamp. And so I will be leaning pretty heavily on red. Now, once again, the stickers that I wanted to use, yep, I just don't have all the dates. We've been there, done that. We've talked about this weeks and weeks before. So I luckily have some of the red ones in the smaller ones. So that's cool. We'll use those. So I'm just going to add those dates right through here. They actually fit the little circles perfectly, if you can believe it. I'm actually pretty excited about that because that opens up a whole new world for me in terms of all of these little stickers work really great. Now I'm going to start laying out the 14 photos, which yes, it continues to sound crazy to me too that I'm using that many photos. And at first, I really sort of second guess myself to not use any flip ups or pockets or anything like that. Because wow, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of pictures. But by the same token, which one goes in a pocket? Which one goes underneath? Which one is less important? Like there were so many stories this week and so many things that I wanted to remember and document that I couldn't even bring myself to not have them all out. So I'm cool with it. It just really feels, it feels okay. And once I get them arranged, making sure that I have them lined up and then not only lined up, but then having them also like alternating at the same time. So for example, like when you have the ones down on Thursday, we have them all lined up. Then on Wednesday, having them sort of in the center of the photos on Thursday just feels good. Same thing on Saturday and fr the photos on Friday and Sunday. They end up looking really nice. And so I like it. And I think that once we get all of the decor in there, it's all going to feel like it doesn't feel so overwhelming. The middle is often very messy. The messy middle is how I always think of it when I am creating. And so I think it's going to be okay, like once we get finished. So I'll hear these all down using the Scotch ATG gun. If you, I talk about this almost every single week, but if you're considering a memory planner, you're considering creating outside of page protectors, I highly recommend this adhesive. I have been memory keeping for 20 years and I can tell you that not all adhesive holds up over time. And if you want your adhesive to stand the test of time, this will do it. I'm going to use their Candied Apple Distress Oxide. This color ends up being absolutely beautiful. And I primed this stamp mostly because it's entirely just got so much surface area. And then just making sure that we get this beautiful impression. 
I'm going to stamp the poppy stamp covering some of this and I'm not going to color it in with a marker or a colored pencil. So this square slash rectangle shape will lend the color to the poppy. So I wanted to make sure to get a really good impression. See what I mean? Like that's where the color is coming from. It's that rectangle. So I've got the poppy. I'm already starting to really love this. The, the vision that I had is coming together. And then I will also add that little cluster of the little polka dots. So, so cute. Love it. Now I want to make sure that that is going to work right there. That long, thin poppy on that stem. It's really cute. And I've got that space. And luckily it actually works perfectly. Like the space is just perfect for that flower. I wasn't sure. But I knew that I could just let the it hang off the end at the bottom if it didn't work out so well. So it did work well. So I'm giving it firm, even pressure to make sure that it works very nicely. I'm actually even going to use my Chucky just to make sure because I didn't want there to be any spots that it didn't work out great. And then now, oh, I love it so much. The stamp set is going to be a favorite for sure because I absolutely love poppies. My birthday is also in August and that is the flower of the birth flower for August. And so, oh, and I love... I already love that little polka dot or dot circle and then it just goes so well right there with that poppy and then also another little smattering of those little dots right there I just love it because they look like polka dots but they're not because they don't have like they're not little perfect circles they're just you know they're just imperfect okay so now we're gonna do a similar thing up here at the top I've got that imperfect circle we're gonna stamp the little poppy bud up here super cute love that so much I actually really love it right like that but I also knew that we needed to add a little bit more some of those little dots too so I'm sort of just thinking about it while I'm adding this die cut that says journey this whole week really felt like a journey like for so many ways my oldest son moved back to college I took my middle son to see a few colleges um, in Northern California we drove home on this road trip I mean it was just really sort of this big journey if you will so that die cut really sort of fit the bill now I glued it down with the clear glue and then now I'm going to use those Bella Boulevard alphabet stickers they've been getting a good workout this summer haven't they and I've begun to run out of some of the letters, but that's okay. The letter C actually is the one that I really ran out of, but it's all right. It's no big deal. It's going to work out just fine. So I'm going to use it to help me abbreviate a few things on the page. And you can see right there, I'm using it in three different spots to notate or help describe some of the photos right there. I still think they're as cute as I did before and the dark gray really just ends up being a great neutral because it doesn't end up being harsh like sometimes a black can while I absolutely always love black because it provides great contrast sometimes you don't want things to be quite as stark so the dark gray really lends itself to providing that same nice dark neutral without having that same contrast now I want to fill in with a few stickers as well. So this Heidi Swap sticker book is a great way to pop in a few fun accents to go with some of the photos without being overwhelming. Now I love photo corners. I absolutely do. But I also love using them as arrows too. And so this was also really fun to be able to use these to point to some of these colleges so I just turned a couple of them on their sides and not only used them to be arrows, but then pulled out some of the alpha stickers and used those to notate some of the colleges as well. Because as you saw, and I explained, I was out of some of the C's, so I wasn't able to do that. All in all, working out really well. I'm sticking mostly to the reds 
just because I feel like it makes, it pulls it all together. It feels really cohesive. So then when you have a pop of color here or there, like that summer sticker, it all just feels like, oh yeah, it all meant to be, it pulled together. And then like the color in the photos, it feels really colorful, but most of my embellishments are from a similar color scheme, fairly monochromatic. Adding a couple of little strips because I feel like, you know, no layout is complete without a word strip or two. They're just always really fun. And you can usually find one or two that describes whatever is going on in some photo. All right, look at that. I love it. Now it's time to add a little bit of journaling because like I said, this week is really full so there's not a ton of room. So I decided what I wanted to do was I wanted to try freehanding it. I don't normally do that because I'm not great at it. I don't have a super long attention span so I don't usually, I'm not able to like sit there and really devote myself to paying attention to making sure that my lines are straight. But I decided that these were really small spaces. How bad could it be? And worst case scenario, I could cover it with some stickers or something like that if it didn't turn out really well. So in the end, I decided I'm really pretty happy with it. They look pretty good. They're all right. It's not the worst. And I'm very glad that I didn't do anything else because it looks, it really looks pretty great. So yeah, and I added all the journaling that I needed for this week. I got down about the trips. I will probably end up creating some larger layout or mini album, like some really small like tag album or something like that about the college visits, like going a little bit more in depth. So I don't feel like I need all of that detail on this layout. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment box below and I will do my very best to get back to you. Thank you so much and make it a great day.